Placing in solos can be really difficult if you don't know what you're doing, but luckily for you guys, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing my solo cash cup and looking at what mistakes I made so that I can teach you guys how to get better at solos. Now if you are new here, make sure to drop a like and subscribe because I'm so close to 2k subs and that's going to be awesome if we can hit that faster, but make sure to watch to the end of the video so you don't miss anything. Now let's get right into today's video. So starting off in game number 1, I knew how important it was to have a Spider-Man for endgame when it comes to solo cash cups. So I got a Spider-Man early on and decided to play really hard placement. But then here near endgame, I needed a refresh really badly but I overextended myself, didn't realize the player was still in the box and ended up dying to it. So this was just an awareness check that I need to be focused on more importantly in the future. So starting off in game number 2, I actually was able to get a free kill out of spawn really easily and then I decided to go ahead and go get Spider-Man as well. But after I got Spider-Man, I wanted to try to get a mid-game kill and this was a massive mistake. I ended up fighting this guy for almost 2 minutes and at that point I should have already disengaged from this fight because I knew it was just going to be a grief fest. He ends up padding away and then taking me to another guy and that guy just kills me because I don't have good awareness. So in solo cash cups, you should never be trying to fight mid-game, just focus on getting getting good loot for endgame and getting your materials up. So in game number 3, I was not able to get a Spider-Man off spawn, but I ended up deciding to play endgame, and I wanted to play super safe, so since I had a launch pad and chugs, I tanked storm so that nobody else could use my launch pad. I then land front side and go ahead and box up, but right here, I wasted so many mats. Instead of going forward, I decided to box outwards, which is a massive mistake. I could have just went upwards, and then I would not have wasted nearly 200 materials there instead. But I'm just boxing up front side, then looking back to get kills or a refresh, but I can't find anything. So then I try to rotate with a solar ramp tart, which saves some mats actually, and I'm using sliding here as well to rotate even faster. But once I get front side, I go ahead and box up again to get to look for a refresh. And this is something I'm really bad at, is actually finding refreshes. So going into the future, I'm going to play more scrims, solo scrims, and look to get more refreshes. But as you can see here, I'm just going front side, boxing up, looking for a refresh. And keep doing that until I'm out of mats actually. And I just need to actually be able to find those refreshes. Now, if I do have a Spider-Man, then I won't be using as many mats, and I'll be able to Spider-Man right in front zone. So this game actually shows how important Spider-Mans are in this meta. So going into game number 4, I need to pop off really hard to actually be able to place it all. So after picking up this kill here early, I decided to key some kids on dead side, which is where less players are, and I'm able to pick up two more kills to set myself up for endgame here. After I get all of the loot, I decide to play for endgame, but I'm able to find one more kill right here that gets me a Spider-Man and Max Mats going into endgame, which is super important in this meta. Now a massive mistake I made right here is actually rotating right into the middle of a bunch of players. Instead of boxing up beside one of them, which would have been much better and made me much less of a target to get sprayed, I did not and I boxed up right in the middle and it got me sprayed and wasted almost all of my mats. Luckily a supply drop landed right beside me so I was able to get back up to max health and I go ahead and rotate with the launch pad, this time boxing up beside somebody instead of in the middle of everybody so I'm not able to get sprayed at all which is really good. And then I get blessed here as well, I, uh, two players are fighting on top of me so the loot falls right down into my box and I'm able to get max mats again. So I just use my launch pad, play safe, I pad early just to see where everybody is. Everybody's coming off the hill so I'm able to look back and get a beam on this kid which I do actually pick up the kill here and I use a spider-man to get max mats again, max brick. So after getting all the loot, I use my Spider-Man to rotate and since I have 6 Shrug Splashes, I'm completely fine with tanking Storm and then healing up afterwards. But right here, since I have Spider-Man, I decide to box up a level higher and that actually helps me to rotate and then I also tank Storm really hard here to get all the way in front of Storm and this is something that's really important because it lets you not actually have to fight with anybody when you're rotating. So tanking Storm can be really helpful when you do have white heals that can actually get you back up to max HP. 
Then I look back here and I'm able to pick up two kills and I get all the loot but I do need to work on getting all the mats instead of focusing on the ammo and stuff like that. I use my Spider-Man to rotate in and then instead of using my Spider-Man more I decide to build a lot more and overbuild since I had just picked up all the mats and I overestimated how many mats I got so I did waste a lot of mats here instead of spider maning but once again, just spider manning front storm and then boxing up to help me save mats, which is super important. So with the rest of the mats I have here, I spider man one more time, box up with what I can, and then I look back to get a kill. I'm not able to get it, but I'm pretty happy with the top 4 this game. So in this point in the cash cup, I was top 1%, and if I wanted to keep staying the top 1000, I needed to keep placing really consistently and getting top 5s every single game. And this end game, I was able to pick up a couple end game frags, which got me really good mats and everything like that. But I make one crucial mistake, and that is boxing up on somebody else's floor without placing a cone. This mistake gets me killed in a game I could have got top 5, and overall affected how well I did in the tournament. So make sure that you're always aware where where you're boxing up. So going into the next game I'm able to pick up an easy mid game kill here and I just use that momentum to keep it into end game and I'm actually able to play really good end game as I have a spider man and really good loot. So I just use a spider man to box up front storm and then I look to get kills and since I was low here I was playing super easy right hand peaks to keep my HP up. And I'm just spider manning right into the front of Storm. But if there's anything I learned in this tournament, it's that I need to be more aware of my surroundings. Going throughout this entire tournament, there was multiple times when I died to having no awareness. And this is one of those times where I could have got top 5, but since I'm not aware, I died to a player that gets a free kill on me. So in my next game, there was only about 15 minutes left of the tournament, so I wanted to W key so that I could get into the last game before the actual timer stopped. So I pick up two mid game kills here, and then I try to keep W keying, but this kid just hops in my box with an auto attack and actually just out aims me, which is really good for him, but GG's to that guy. So in my last game, I needed to get top 5 to actually be able to qualify for the finals and I'm not able to do that at all because I actually take a mid game fight and I lose it, which is simply just my bad, I should not have been fighting with this loot and obviously it is a massive mistake. But throughout this entire tournament, the main things that I actually learned was that I need to be more aware of my surroundings and playing not for kills, instead playing for myself with Spider-Mans because once you have a spider-man there's no reason you can't get top five because you can just spider-man in front of zone box up and then keep doing that until you're top five which is super easy placement and overall is really easy points so if you're trying to place in solo cash cups and overall solo tournaments in general i recommend getting a spider-man maybe picking up one or two mid-game kills and then just playing hard placement with the spider-man if this video was helpful make sure to drop a like and subscribe and don't forget to comment down below and let me know what type of videos you you guys want in the future thanks for watching guys and i hope you guys have a great day peace out guys